Hello, I'm going to work on activity 21 inside a pump. So as you can see, I have two different containers. One is partially full of water, the other one is not. And then I also have two different types of pumps. I have a siphon bulb, which is the one that we're going to use first today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one side in, one end of the pump into each part of these buckets, the one with and one without, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start squeezing it. Now, if you listen, you can hear and you can see that water really isn't coming through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down the camera and I'm going to prime this pump. So in order to prime the pump, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to put it over the bottom of the tube, and I'm going to start pumping. As I pump, it is going to start to get water going into the other tube. Whenever that happens, I will then start to be able to actually transfer water. It might take a second for me to do it. but it's a rather labor-intensive sort of process. So, what we are doing is we are transferring it. Yeah. So now that I finally have the pump primed, what I'm doing is I'm squeezing it. And you can see there's bubbles that come up over here. And over here it gets a little bit messy. It isn't really being very effective at getting water over. Okay, so that's the first one. Now before I take it out, I always make sure to have it run out into the bucket. All right, and I'm going to put that one aside. Now I'm going to get the next one. Now looking at this one, you'll see on the side of this there is an arrow. So I put the red side into the bucket with the water, and I put the black side into the other bucket. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start squeezing. Now this one I had to do no priming with at all. And I am just going to start squeezing it. Now if you look from the side, you can see water's filling up pretty fast now that I'm using this other pump. So what do you think makes the difference? Why is one pump far more effective than the other? Hello, I am working on activity 27, the pressure is on. I have two tubs. One tub I have filled three-fourths of the way with water, the other one I do not have anything in. I also have a pump, I have a beaker a clamp, and a timer. What I'm going to do is first off I'm going to put the, pl the pump into the container and I am going to start pumping it in order to get the pump ready so that I know I have water flowing through it. Alright, so then what I am going to do is I have my timer set for 15 seconds. Now with the timer set for 15 seconds, I am going to start pumping. As I pump, look at how much effort my hand has to make in order to transfer the water. So, I count up how many times I pumped in that amount of 15 seconds and I'm going to try it again. So I shake out my hand, get it all rested, and I'm ready to try again. So 15 seconds, and I pump. 